good day everyone you're watching Raytube on today's video uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to fix um, errors or how to troubleshoot a Windows update issue um, now let's get started without any delays now you might have get uh, got an error message while installing Windows update now this video I'm going to show you some basic troubleshooting steps on how to fix the problem now first and foremost what you will have to do is um, you will have to uh, if it is Windows 7 or any previous version or 8 or 10 the first thing is you will have to check the system time and date make sure your system is uh, currently set for your time zone so in order to do that what you will have to do is you can click on the search and look for date and time settings and click on this this should open up the date and time settings window if it is Windows 10 this is the window you will see otherwise you will see um, in additional date and time settings and click on set, uh, set the time and date under once you have date and time window open you will have to click on internet time click on change settings and by default um, you would have you might have different uh, updates here so you will have to uh, make sure that um, your time is synchronizes with the internet time server and click on update now so this is the first and foremost step of what you will have to do in case if you get any error message you select time.windows.time.windows.com uh, and click on update now and click on ok click on apply and ok and then try installing the updates and see if that works now in case if this doesn't work the next step would be uh, let me go ahead and close this window uh, you will have to press windows and R key which will open up uh, the run window in the run window you will have to go ahead and type services dot msc and click on ok so uh, once you have um, hit ok it will open up the services window this will give you all the list of services which are running on your computer screen so now we have uh, the services window open on the screen now like I said earlier uh, we have all the list of services which are running on your computer screen the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to look for um, bit services that is background um, intelligent transfer services do a right click on it and click on stop okay that's the first service and the next thing would be you will have to look for Windows update scroll down on the same um, here and look for Windows update do a right click on it and click on stop so uh, what we are doing here is we are stopping the services because we will have to rename some of the folders here uh, I'm going to walk you through that so I'm stopping the Windows update uh, services here once the Windows update services stop there is another service which we will have to go ahead and uh, now stop it uh, which would be the Windows installer so um, let me let's wait until uh, the Windows update services are stopped so the windows update services has been stopped on my computer and the next step would be to stop the windows installer uh, services uh, looks like it has been already stopped uh, let me go ahead and cross check so yes it has been already stopped so once these services has been stopped what we will have to do is we will have to go ahead and uh, delete some of the uh, system folders uh, so let me walk you through step by step so what you will have to do is you will have to open my computer or um, open Windows Explorer and on this you will have to go to C Drive which is your local drive on your computer screen or if, it, if you're using Windows 10 it will be this PC under C Drive you will have to go to Windows folder and under Windows folder look for software distribution under software distribution you will have to go ahead and delete this folder um, if you open this folder you will see list of updates here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click and click on delete um, there's a huge chunk of uh, the downloads listed here so let's wait until we complete the delete we have about uh, about four to five gigs of uh, data here 
So once we have deleted uh, the data uh, downloads folder, the next thing would be we'll have to go ahead and delete the data store folder. Click on continue and that should delete the data store folder. So once these folders are deleted, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. Uh, let me go ahead and restart my computer and uh, please be patient while I come back. So now my computer has been restarted. So let me go ahead and um, once your computer has been restarted, what you will have to do is you will have to press Windows and R key uh, on your computer screen. That will open up the run window or else you can click on the search and type services dot msc that should uh, give you the services window like uh, like we did earlier uh, this will open up the services window uh, window on your computer screen this will show up the list of services which are running on your computer screen now you will have to follow the same step what we did earlier earlier we had stopped the services now we will have to go ahead and start the services the first thing what we will have to do is we'll have to look for background intelligence services do a right click on it and click on start uh, once this is done, I look for Windows uh, installer. Uh, in our case, Windows installer was already running. But since we restart the computer, uh, we are going to start the services. And uh, then look for Windows update. Scroll down on the same window and uh, look for Windows update. It's right here. So let's do a right click on it and click on properties click on automatic click on apply and then click on ok so windows uh, uh, windows update has been um, started close this window and the next step would be you will have to re-register the windows installer so the step would be msi e exec forward slash reg server click on OK so once you click on OK um, this, uh, the Windows installer services uh, should be running on your computer screen now once these steps are completed the next thing would be you will you can go ahead and try to um, install the Windows update look for Windows update and uh, this should be installing uh, all your Windows updates which are available on the computer screen so if you look at the screen it is saying that preparing to install updates about 37 percent so this is how you can go ahead and fix Windows updates issue in case if this uh, doesn't work uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave me a comment comment on the uh, on the comment section below and let me know if these steps what I've given has been worked for you or not in case if this doesn't work uh, I'm going to create another video with a few more advanced troubleshooting steps which should help you to fix a problem I hope you like this video uh, thank you for watching this video you have a great day and do take care my lovely friends